Hey, how you guys doing? I Collex. Yeah, and this is my 8x speed furnace. And I have two versions. I got the deluxe model to the right, and then to the left I have the one that we're going to be doing the tutorial on. Now, I would go and do this one, but it requires an item elevator, and it's super expensive. But there is really no difference besides the item elevator. This one can be loaded from the ground. As you can see here, I can put my smelting, I can load coal, and then I receive my items from down here. So one of the things I wanted to show you about this that makes it special compared to my older design is that if you were on the older design, you'd have to let a clock rotate if you wanted it to auto fill the coal for you. As you can see, I solved that problem. The way I solved it was I made it so that it's always on the off position, as you can see here. So, yeah, it will just automatically load itself because it's not actually on. There's nothing holding this from dropping items in, and th that seems to fix it. Um, some other things, I did a timing thing where it basically shuts off. Um, it stores the block for one second and then drops it in, which gives it really incredible accuracy. This is a good example. So, eight, eight coal, and then we come over here, jump off. You'll see it put one piece in there, in each one. Now that's very uncommon for for one like this. So I don't have a lot of time to showcase this, but I did want to show you it. So you drop in your your coal, or I'm sorry, you drop in your uh, cobblestone and you'll see that it turned on then it flashed and then it flashed again and on the second flash is when you actually got the cobblestone dropping in and you can check this and it'll be three across then four and then it will go back and should get up to about six it'll load six blocks by the time it smelts those so I would say I'm just gonna say you can't make it any bigger than this on the console I have this fit within a chunk it's very important to build this within a chunk. So I don't have, you know, uh, I don't want to add in another minute with us just watching this smelt. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip until I see it shut off. And you'll see that it's perfectly in sync. Alright, so you just seen them all shut off at exactly the same time. Really cool. Um, yeah. The, the the idea behind this was to be a little bit more expensive than normal, but to be worth it. So I just need to show you guys what it looks like without the covering. So you can see that it's actually simpler. Not that you could make this any simpler, but it's actually simpler than it once was. Um, and it being off by default just solves so many problems that I've ran into as far as accuracy. So this is the one we're going to make. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, make this in the tutorial. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm just going to remind you once again, make it in a chunk. If you don't know how, I have a video called, Red, you know, how to get redstone to work every time. And uh, I'll link it if you guys need it, but uh, hopefully you guys know from my channel that you need to build within a chunk. <laughs> Alright, so dimensions are 13 by 6 by 6. And that's for this one, that's the one that gets covered on the top. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just start on it. So from the right side here um, you want to come in one block like that and place in a chest just a normal chest and then you want to go ahead and put one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten uh, hoppers and then eight furnaces that's four five six seven and eight should leave you a spacing of two there then you want to go ahead and jump on top and go ahead and place eight hoppers facing downward like that and go ahead and come on this side you want to crouch click go ahead and put a comparator and then put hoppers going all the way back so it should be a total of eight then we're going to need to build some scaffolding here so one two three and four so we can go ahead and put in four more hoppers there and then go ahead and put another chest here this is going to be for our smelter so crouch clicking again and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the scaffolding there there we go alright so that's that part of it 
So let's go ahead and do the coal loading system. So you want to go ahead and just come over here and do the same thing we did on that side. Crouch click a block there, comparator, and then hovers going all the way back. Now this one has to come out one more because if it goes underneath if it goes underneath this set of hoppers it will actually take the items out of it so it needs to come over one more like that there we go and there we go so one more normal chest oops actually need to bring that scaffolding out one more sorry about that pretty difficult uh, doing this crouch clicking I, I gotta say just takes forever <laughs> there we go and then another one and that's all our chests so block here and here we can just leave the rest of those and then we're gonna need to place a little staircase trick here so what I like to do myself is I uh, basically place a staircase here like that and then um, like this and what that does is it makes it look like a solid block when it's not and you can do the same here since we're in here and you want to make it face um, I think it needs to face this way there we go yeah so that'll look like a solid block there and you can open it which is pretty cool so we can go ahead and place that there and that's pretty much the cosmetic so we can come around here and get rid of the scaffolding it's not necessary there we go alright so let's get our redstone going on this so block up like that and a block up like that and then one below here go ahead and put a torch there and there repeater on top of it like that torch here block and then just bring it across should be a total of nine including this extra block which needs a repeater it's very important to have that repeater it needs that that delay and we want to do the same on this side there we go redstone and then repeater on no delay it's actually one ticks delay like that I always say no because people that are new don't understand that so yeah next thing to do is to make this one on the off position by default so placing a torch there will do that for us and then we can go ahead and just place a block like that alright so now we just need to place in our what's going to tell this thing to turn on so it's directly behind this chest here crouch click there and then crouch click again and I like to place a block like that and then one over here like this and then place another comparator directly underneath that and then we can go ahead and make a little amber gate like that redstone repeater and then just run this redstone like that there you go alright so we need to take this and drag it until it connects with that one and we're going to need a repeater here, redstone, and then blocks on top of these. And then redstone. Just like that. And that is the redstone all the way done. That's everything. Now all we need to do is just test it real quick. Alright, so I got the stuff in here. Sorry about the weird editing. Um, so before we start, let's go ahead and check and make sure everything looks cool. Okay, that's not cool. All right, that's my bad right there. It's supposed to be a comparator, two comparators, right there. Everything else looks cool though. Got my comparators here. All right, so the next thing to do is just add in eight pieces of coal. This is to check accuracy. So just come in there, drop it in, see how long it takes. Shouldn't take that long. Um, there is a pause and that's to, like I said, it stores the block and then drops it after the fact. And we got eight pieces in there. Alright, so now we just need to check the smelter. So it's the upper chest. 
So one piece of coal, it turned on, and then it flashes, nothing happens, and it flashes again, and that's when it gives us the magic. So we get one, and then it should be down to two, then maybe three here, and then we should get to four here. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. We know this works. So why it's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and um, prep this so that we can make it look cool. All right, so once you got a little trench dug like this, you can come underneath here and go ahead and place staircases upside down like that. And then go ahead and jump on out of here. We can just fill this all in. Like so. And then we can go ahead and uh, build a little frame right here like that and we want our outside frame it needs to come up to the top here until it connects with that and then we can come in here and do the same exact thing we just did and that should make it look cool I like the way it looks so uh, yeah so for tips for you guys if you're gonna be covering this if you want a ceiling on it um, same thing, you just want to basically place um, two blocks, something like that. And that will make it so that it looks nice and and flat. So, pretty cool. I mean, it's a little tall, but you can access this from here. So, pretty cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much the, the cosmetic stuff. Now, to prevent anybody from getting confused, the last thing you want to do is have people throwing in stuff in here that's not supposed to be in here so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some things that we'll need I like to use blaze powder um, to represent fire so um, item frame here and here and here go ahead and put that there coal and our item return and that's pretty much it uh, if you guys are interested in the deluxe version I can do a part two of this where I just add that in here. It, it's not very hard to do. Um, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this this tutorial. It's it's a uh, yeah. I'm I'm actually really proud of this because um, yeah, it, it working all the way on the 1.8.1 is really cool. So comment, like, and subscribe, and have a good one. Later.